kick off? Um, since our last show, Dead Weight, um, last summer, uh, we kind of toyed with other concepts and, and doing other things and, and what we wanted to, to be like as a company. It turned out that uh, we sort of returned to the concept that we did for Dead Weight and thought that's going to be our main main thing. We're going to make those kind of style of games, the, the live video game, which we want to call it. Um, so yeah, we started off, uh, it was a really exciting time. I remember it being sort of, you know, it's, it's quite nice when you're on the sort of start and everything's possible and you can do what you like. Um, it's a really exciting time. The thing that we did for Dead Weight, the, the camera on an actor's head, um, live streaming to a theatre and someone guiding them through and then thought, well, we obviously need to expand it beyond a one person, one audience member experience. Um, the last couple of weeks have been really hard for me because I have felt that I've not been able to contribute as much as I want in terms of admin and kind of getting things going. But yeah, I'm feeling really good that we got some creative stuff nailed because when we don't do creative stuff, it can make the admin stuff a lot less enjoyable. <laughs> Uh, to, so just to recap what I've done this week, a lot of my time, or most of my time is spent um, trying to piece together all the information that we've got to fit into a business plan, which has proven quite difficult because I don't know how to write a business plan and the terminology doesn't quite fit with what we're doing or what we, how we speak to each other. Um, I have also been doing research and going to events and found out about the government grant um, for internet installation for new businesses, which was really helpful. Um, so that's it, that was last week. Yeah, so uh, this week has been all about getting the business plan done. Uh, Mel has come back and taken on a lot of the bits which I haven't done. I think I massively underestimated how much I'd left, um, which I think probably put a lot of pressure on her. But she dealt with it well. Um, that's been this week. So next week um, is kind of getting back on track with things, I suppose. I am just about to submit our Deutsche Bank award location. So it's our business plan, and this is the big moment. That to send it off. Here we go. We did our Deutsche Bank submission at the start of the week. Then on Wednesday, we had a creative meeting to talk about what we need to do. Um, taking a bit of a break after the application's gone in, but um, there's not really enough time to, to, to stop for a long period of time. So, yeah. I am feeling quite frustrated. We're four people who are working, who are working together, who all really are creative people. We want, we're working together because we want to make uh, exciting interactive theatre. To do that as a company, we need to um, create, create all the opportunities ourselves. I'm finding it hard to both motivate myself to learn things that I don't know how to do. Really, we all want to be doing the fun stuff, and it's hard to do the um, admin things when you feel like you're not a team doing it together. I, I want us to feel like a team on both fronts. I just really, really, really want to formalise something because at the moment I feel really trepidatious, if that's even a word, about um, moving forward. So I really have no idea if it's all going to be for nothing. <laughs> God, I hope it's not. <laughs> we had our first rehearsal, which was really nice. Yeah, so it was good. It was nice to get back into creative stuff. Um, administratively, putting agreements together with Southwark Playhouse. I think the main issue is that we need a bit of information about performance space at the vaults. We don't have it yet. Yeah, I've done a lot of research in um, the technical stuff. Been a bit of a head fuck, really. Moving forward, I think I need to move a bit quicker. Last week, we had our first um, kind of proper sink your teeth in kind of creative session. In terms of how I feel about that, I feel very good. Uh, I get really bogged down when we just um, go through big admin phases, which I know is really important, but finally getting back to rehearsal room is just really exciting and really releasing for me. And I think that it was a really good session as well. There were post-it notes galore. We've kind of provisionally assigned who's going to play what character, which again um, helps me to have a better um, vision of how it's going to look um, and what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I mean, I suppose the main thing to report um, from the last week is that there's been a change of dates um, for our performances in the autumn. Um, seems to be a lot of activity around stuff, so yeah, that's good. 
so my primary feeling is that um, I need to get my shit together. And, you know, we, we were talking about whether or not someone should just take on comms. Um, and I kind of felt bad being like, no, I don't want to do it because otherwise I'm doing nothing that I enjoy. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with comms. I'm learning. Um, and we're all learning in everything that we're doing. But I don't know where to begin. Um, it's the sort of thing that, in my head, needs a lot of research to go into it. And I just don't have the time to do that research. Um, and I'm really going to try and kick my ass into gear so that I can do it. I don't want to let the team down. Um, I'm also pushing to get the PRS funding application in, which will basically, if we get it, give us a chunk of money to be able to pay a musician to make some music for the show. Um, I feel like I'm learning a little bit, um, which is nice because it's been a while since I've sort of flexed my producery muscles. Yeah, I'm excited. We are now back into full creative mode. Um, so every Sunday we're having our creative sessions and I cannot begin to explain how refreshing that feels for me. But when we're going through our admin phase, I feel very much like the weakest link. Um, I, I don't feel that I'm as strong as the other three at doing the admin things. Just not good at that. I mean, I'm, I can do it um, if I have to, but it's not natural to me and it takes me much longer and I find it much more stressful. But when we're in the doing the creative sessions, I actually feel that's when I start to feel like, actually, yeah, I do have stuff to contribute. So I applied for this mini residency thing. Mm, very skeptical, skeptical as to whether I would get it. I mean, basically, this is a mini residency for a kind of museum exhibition focused around games. Let's have a look at this email, which is very, very exciting. Um, so we'll learn a title email. Congratulations, you have been shortlisted for the performance award because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, so we've just been shortlisted for the Deutsche Bank Award. This is such a good day. I'm so happy. Yay. Oh, go us. Been a busy old week. Biggest, most exciting news is we've been shortlisted for the DBA, so it's the Deutsche Bank Award for Creative Enterprise. We've really got a structure of the narrative working out quite well and like interesting things are happening in the show. Um, I went to see Alice Underground at the Vox yesterday and it was spectacular, really enjoyable, an uh, immersive experience and we can probably get into the rehearsal room and sort of using that inspiration to make our game exciting, the narrative genuinely uh, immersive and exciting for every person who plays, whichever route they take. I'm doing a documentation because I know this is a moment that could significantly impact on uh, the project that we're working on. So I've just uh, applied for what will be quite a stressful full-time job. I've just found out that I've got the job in quite a selfish way. I think this is an opportunity that I don't want to let pass me by. <sighs> I, I feel like I'm going to be letting the team down. I mean, I, I talked to them, everyone about it and I explained and they all gave me the green light and said, you really should go for this. But I'm already really concerned that it didn't work last time, me trying to do both things. And I'm trying to do it again, and this time it's going to be more stressful. And the show is happening at the same time as the festival that I'll be working on. I can already see it's really not a sensible decision to have made. And I'm not, I'm not convinced that it's going to work um, to our advantage. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm really sorry in advance if, if I've made a mistake here. I am having a long weekend off. The reason I wanted to mention it here is just because um, I think that it's just so necessary. I am exhausted kind of mentally and emotionally and so it's going to be really good to have a break and hopefully next week I'll be in a space where I can do more productively. So big thing this week we went to the vaults, you know, visually and aesthetically and in many ways good good little space, but there's a lot of logistical problems, so, you know, internet and power 
in there aren't straightforward. But to be honest, that's not my main concern. My main concern is that it's very close to the main platform. It's still in use, you know, it's a used base. So yeah, that's going to be tricky. I think I was pretty negative after our meeting. Yeah, but just because of general things going on at the moment, I don't have much work. It's putting a bit of a pressure on keeping this up. You know, I've not got much money and I've not got much work, so <laughs> those two things can put you in a bit of a stressful place. But things are busy getting in my mind, really. We talked about, a bit about the Deutsche Bank Award. There's no point being happy about being shortlisted because being shortlisted and not getting the money is still the same as not being shortlisted and not getting the money. Really, it's kind of like a... If you win, good. If you don't, you don't. Uh, it's just, there's no in-between, really. I've been writing up the pitch for that and, uh, yeah, it's made me realise how little I know about computers. At the moment, I'm looking stuff up a lot. It's annoying because it's just very time-consuming. I'll go to a meeting and say to the others, this is a good idea, or, you know, we should buy this computer. But I've spent hours looking at other computers and other stuff, and... <laughs> so we totally just won the Deutsche Bank Award for Creative Enterprise, and someone says something, and we're really happy, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's, that's, Dude, that's it, that's it. Yeah, we, we can't, yeah. You we lost it! <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes. Oh, to us. Way. <laughs> Our funding's been confirmed, which pretty much means the whole the whole shebang is a go. Which is exciting. Now we've just got to make it happen and make it really good as well, because people are going to want it to be good and we want it to be good and it needs to be good. Yeah, let's make a good show. Um, the, so on Wednesday we went and we presented our pitch and actually we really enjoyed the process even though the lead up and the build up was pretty stressful when we were actually there it was really fun and the feedback that we received from the judges and from other people that had read our business plan was was really actually pretty um, yeah overwhelming I mean that's the word I keep using but as far as I can see it is the best and most appropriate one also um, reminds me and, and gives me confidence again that we are onto something here we are onto something really special um last night's rehearsal and we actually end up making some quite radical suggestions that would really change quite a lot of what we've already worked towards particularly in terms of narrative we do this to ourselves so many times i do think that making some changes will make the show better Here's what's going on. What's happened this week is that we found out we didn't get the PRS funding, which kind of sucks. Um, I will say that what I'm most aware of at the moment is how much I'm going to be spending time on this <laughs> again. <laughs> I, said to the, I said to the others last night that I'll be interested to see how, how I cope with this method of working where it's sort of gain momentum and then um, hit a kind of plateau of intensity rather than what we did last time, which was kind of very, 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 very slow, 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 slow. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then bang, everything all at once. Oh, my God. Because I'm an incubator, I can just sit there, not exert a huge amount, and then suddenly be like, wow, so much effort, so much everything. <laughs> so I don't know if this method is going to suit me better or worse. Um, but we'll see. We found out this week that we didn't get the PRS fund, which is Ooh. Yeah, that really sucks. It would have been great to be able to pay Xander um, what he deserves for writing music for the show because he is incredibly talented. So we're having quite productive, uh, if not a little frightening, uh, creative discussions in our rehearsal at the moment. Like to rethink and re replace things uh, for the narrative and the characters. We do that. We just put in a lot of work and a lot of thought and a lot of effort, and then we start to question everything. I think in a really good way, but it does mean that a lot of the effort that we've put in feels wasted, but it definitely hasn't been, because it's led us to the place where we're able to ask these questions and challenge the work. So it's, it's really okay, and it's good, and it's part of our process. The next thing for me is to do the Arts Council application. I don't actually enjoy the process of putting together a funding application, but someone has to do it. I guess I'm probably best placed for it.
So Dan's working on a um, sexual kind of little game that we're going to do at the Welcome Collection, which I think is really great for Dan because it's uh, something they can really sink his teeth into, but it's not admin heavy, it's very creative, which works well for him. I think actually the project, I hope, will be good for Blockstop more generally. I say it's something that we can all sort of do between now and the show, which will be a little, like, let's give us a little boost, I think. Tech has been kind of at the forefront of my mind. We did a test using FaceTime, so uh, Elida. Uh, FaceTimed us from Spotlight and um, yeah, it came through quite well because I think um, we were getting enough download speed for that to come through and the upload speed on Elida's end was really fast so yeah, I think it'll be fine. Just you're yeah, feeling quite bogged down with everything that has to be done. I know that the other guys have been doing this this whole time, living in London and doing Blockstop and working um, and I think now it's really starting to dawn on me actually how stressful that is. Um, I somehow have to figure out how the heck I'm going to live. <laughs> Casting call, we've got auditions coming up. A bit behind on the venue stuff. Tech-wise, um, th I'm feeling fairly confident with how things are going. Kind of trucking along, really. Uh, oh, that's another thing, Arts Council um, application. Uh, we're trying to get it done by the 1st of July. Uh, we'll see whether that happens. I'm finding things quite tough at the moment. I don't feel like I'm giving enough time and enough energy into Blockstop. I mean, at the moment, everything I'm doing for Blockstop is, this mini, is the mini residency, whereas there is lots of other stuff that needs to be happening. I'm thinking particularly about Arts Council application. I'm supposed to be writing a section of that, which I haven't even started. I feel bad, always, like, because Mel always seems to end up taking the full brunt um, of the funding applications that we do and that's quite a lot of pressure for her. I mean she's amazing at it um, but she is also very busy and then yeah other just life things like it turns out that life has this thing of just throwing bricks at you. I feel icky and part of it is because I feel like a jerk because I've been really resistant to changes. Yeah I, I feel frustrated. We made a choice about what the audience does it's frustrating to me because this is what I said about nine months ago and I really pushed for it and I don't normally do that but I really pushed for it but the others really pushed against it and they were really adamant and so I did what I normally do is I just assume that if the others think one thing and I think the other then they're probably right and I'm probably wrong. It feels like we've wasted a lot of time but yeah, that then brings us also to the a decision that's being made at the moment, which is basically to decide whether we want to cut one of our characters entirely. And I'm concerned about it, because I don't know if it's a good decision. I know that a big part of it for me is the fact that I caved on the previous decision, and now we've gone back to it. Um, and it makes me reluctant to not follow my gut again. I just can't figure out if that's because I'm being a douchebag, or because actually I do have some kind of artistic insight. I think I've spoken about that before, about feeling like the weak link, and maybe this is just me trying to rebel against that. Today was the first time ever when I've actually questioned whether I'm on the same page as the others. Yeah, I need to stop being so negative. Fully in the knowledge here that this documentation is going to be um, boring and predictable, but I'm feeling stressed. So I'm now full-time uh, in my new job, and it's busy. It's really, really busy. The Arts Council application is suffering. It's going to be late, for sure. And so I've gone through a bit of a tricky, creative uh, discussion uh, where I think we've kind of come full circle and we were being really ambitious. I don't want to regret that because I think ambition is what's going to get us places. Um, it was too ambitious too quickly. Then the Welcome Collection, we did it. Um, so Dan managed to pull together a game and it was actually really great. Thank goodness it, it went well and it was um, a lot of fun to do. I'm really glad that we did it. I am feeling stressed but I'm also feeling good. I feel like we're making good decisions about this show. I'm tired and I feel strange. We have exciting opportunities with uh, potential partners and we've been working our butts off trying to balance, as ever, the creative side of things and the production slash admin side of things. I'm excited because I've done 
the intro video script and I think it's pretty cool if I say so myself. So I'm excited to get filming that because I think that will be make us feel kind of like, yeah, we're achieving something. Um, I'm also really excited about just going and performing again because I really miss it. I think we are all really shattered because of the busyness. I mean, that's not a new thing, but what is new is we're starting to talk about investment. We're starting to talk about making the jump to doing this full time. And that again is a really exciting thing, but also there's the other side of the coin, which is that it's quite stressful um, and it's quite intense because it's a big commitment. But right now, my biggest fear is that it's just going to be really not fun. <laughs> um, and that's a big deal to me. It's really struck home again. I just sort of this feeling of not contributing enough. I believe that what we have is amazing. Our idea is amazing. I believe that they are amazing. Um, I believe that Blockstop can get what we need to get done done. Um, I just worry about my own contributions. And I feel like I have been incredibly lucky in connecting with these guys because I feel like I have just coasted off of their talent. I struggle with time, but then also some of me, like part of me sees how busy the others are and they still somehow manage to do all this stuff and work full-time jobs and be in relationships. and. I I just don't know how they manage it and pull stuff off and do it really wonderfully. So I pitched my um, company split idea uh, to the others. I think it was warmly taken up. I think it would be a good move forward. So we're going to write our job descriptions. The big news for me is that the Arts Council application is in. I have to say I'm really disappointed that it didn't feel like there was much support with it. Uh, we submitted about a month later than we wanted to because others hadn't had time to do their sections. So to give them more time, we waited until the welcome collection um, thing was over and there was an extra sort of month really. And uh, still sections got handed back to me so I had to end up putting the whole thing together. I, I, mean, I don't really blame anyone, I just think that I again wish it had been a team effort and it didn't feel like it was. Because it is it's important, like, we have to get that money, no one gets paid. Um, and I don't want that just just on me or just on a couple of us. That's, that to me feels like it should be something that we all are equally involved in. I'm not going to allow myself to feel guilty if we don't get that money. I'm actually I'm a bit unsure now what happens because I a lot of what I do is the um, the getting stuff ready. So I did the majority of the business plan, the whole of the arts council application really, apart from the budget, which Ollie did. And now I'm not sure what I do. I mean I do a lot of that kind of stuff and I do a lot in the show, but. Admin-wise, I feel a bit redundant now. So, I'm um, continuing to be very busy this week. There's a lot of things are taking over. Some of the biggest things which I'd like to get sorted are the zombie tunnels, which has taken a back seat whilst we're waiting to get a meeting sorted. It's a bit time-consuming. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it, really. I can't... I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll chase them up tomorrow, but there's only a certain amount of kind of prompting and chasing that I can do. But there we go. I'm feeling busy but good, uh, things are going really well. Exciting, uh, I'm super excited to have a timeline now as well of when we're, when we're going to come to business. What I want to say today is that I am feeling actually much more positive. Um, so last Wednesday we had a admin meeting talking about the future and potential structures for when we move forward as a business, which I expected to be an incredibly stressful and terrifying meeting. And it turns out it was only mildly stressful and terrifying. <laughs> um, also on the creative side, I think we're really starting to move forward now. And that really does really helped my state of mind a lot. Um, I'd like to have, really, I would have liked to have started trials weeks ago, but we're not there yet, but that's okay slight freak out when I realised that by the end of us is in two months now. In those two months there's a whole heck load of other stuff um, that I need to do. Um, I came home from rehearsals. It was uh, a good rehearsal today even though um, Ollie wasn't there. We got quite a lot done. We're finding that um, actually the narrative is sort of writing itself. The decisions like loop back into each other. The timing seemed to be working out much much more sort of sensibly um, than even like we, we, we sort of predicted. Yes, Joe's feeling quite new and on sale this week. Um, the players' tickets sold out. Uh, 
uh, we found out today that we got uh, the Arts Council funding uh, and I am over the moon about it. I'm so, so pleased. Last, last time we did Arts Council, I think we, we all thought about it, we all talked about it, we all read it lots of times, we all sort of, you know, went back and forth with it a lot and really fine-tuned it, perfected it, all four of us. And this time, it just didn't feel like it had that much um, input. Yeah, I'm so happy. And it's worth also saying that the Arts Council are giving us more money than the Deutsche Bank. And I think I want to make sure that this moment gets documented because I think it could pass by in the blur of everything else that's going on right now. The show is happening. Everyone's going to get paid. <sighs> I went round with Tristan and BT and worked out how to get internet down in the tunnels, which it all sort of seemed fine. There was kind of dubious. They needed to cut into um, a fibre pipe, which was going through the tunnel, fortunately, right through our space. Um, and so there was a junction point, and it was all kind of set from, from BT's point of view. But obviously, as soon as you need to start cutting into pipes, that's quite difficult. If BT came along and said, like, right, great, we're going to use this um, to bring your internet in, and it turned out that, you know, they cut through something which ended up knocking out, like, the ticket machines out in the station. I mean, that's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's real trouble. We needed to talk to a few couple of other people at Network Rail. A lot of people we need to talk to were on holiday. Um, I went away for a week as well and took a long time. We haven't had to go ahead on this plan yet. Today, we shot the intro video and I am fucking knackered. <laughs> I think it was a really good day though. I think I definitely made the right call in outsourcing a director and a cinematography person and director of photography because I think that Will and Nick were an amazing team. And for the first time in quite some time, I feel like I personally have done something for the good of Blockstop. <laughs> Sometimes it's sort of like, okay, we've got this thing, it's all hands on deck, everyone needs to look at this quick, swift action. Um, and everyone gets involved, and then other times it's sort of like you give something out and no one responds or says anything, or even remembers that you sent it to them. <laughs> and it's sort of like, wait, is that happening because it's, it's fine? And actually, you saw it, you thought it was fine as it was, and you trust my abilities to, to, to do things well? Um, or is that happening because actually you don't really care about what I'm bringing forward? <laughs> I feel positive and excited about what's to come. I don't think I have ever felt so unsure as to whether this show by the end of us, or any show I've been involved with, is actually going to happen. And that's quite terrifying. Um, we don't have internet in the space. We just don't have a space, it turns out. I don't know, Ollie seems really chilled about it. He thinks it's going to be fine, but I'm stressed. It makes me just so nervous. Not, I mean, and even if we do find somewhere else, it's not as good because all our marketing is revolved around these tunnels. We, we need to be there. And also, I'm just desperate. For, I'm, I just I know that we need to be practicing in the space now, and we're not, and we might not even have a space. You know, on top of that, the show, as far as I'm concerned, is not finished yet at all. It's um, quite a stressful time at the moment. We are all really nervous that the show is just not going to happen. And that's a really scary place to be. It's just the negotiation between uh, BT, Network Rail, and then us. Um, it's just, it feels like we've got a bit of an impossible task on our hands and there's just this Ollie there's just Ollie trying to figure it all out Ollie's not an internet expert and he's the only one who's really stepping up to try and figure it out to make it happen and we all sort of you know scratch our heads and go oh my god it's so scary but none of us know how to fix it and let, yet it falls on Ollie's shoulders to do it I just I feel so helpless there's lots of other things that Ollie's doing that I keep trying to take off him but he won't really relinquish because I suppose that's the, the stuff that he can feel in control of. It doesn't feel good at the moment. I don't know what I can do to help. Um, I can just feel the pressure building on Ollie. The more we stress about how we're not going to be you know, ready for the show and, you know, it's not useful to do trials, not in the space. It's just like all these things where, yes, we know that's the problem. We just can't fix it. It does, it does really feel right now that 
happen. Maybe it won't happen. Oh, what do we do? What do we do if it doesn't happen? Um, because the show is so dependent on space, it is site specific, if you will. The idea of performing the show without having had enough trials in it to test out things like timing, spaces, um, set, tech, all of that stuff, um, just seems like insanity. There's also a general level of kind of low level stress about trying to find a new space. Anyway, yeah, I'm busy, I'm tired, I'm stressed but strangely zen about it. For the first time in a while I feel a glimmer of hope, I guess, that it's gonna be fine. It seems like we're getting the space slowly but surely sorted. Makes me relieved. <laughs> I've been very, 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 very stressed about it. Once again, I find myself saying, fuck, I just wish we had time. I just wish we could just screw all the logistical stuff and that it was all sorted and we could just give the show what it needed in terms of creative input. In times of adversity, I realise how well we work as a team. We all kind of just pull together and the last week has kind of shown me that and it's been a really reassuring feeling to know that we all care so much about this thing. A bit pissed off um, about feeling like everything like was on a linchpin on the things that I was doing so getting the space sorted um, and getting the tech sorted was all on me. Some meetings it would be like felt like it was constantly sort of you know and I know this is not the way the team meant it but it felt very much like looking at me saying like well you know this project's not really going to plan because of what you've done uh, so, so you know some of the others would not get things done on time or when we expected it to happen and it was like oh right, well, we'll, well we should work around it sort it out whereas if i hadn't have done the things that i needed to do by the time if i wasn't a full pelt then it, it would have gone to gone to shit so it got tough timing capacity as i mentioned before was a major thing and just um, no one had it. No one had any time to do anything. We have internet! I've just got back from being in the tunnels with Ollie and I had nothing to do with it. Literally nothing to do with it. But now we have internet and I am so happy I need to buy Ollie back a present. I mean I bought him loads of food today because that was the only way I felt I could be useful. Future Mel, watching this, buy Ollie back a present. We are at crunch time, that's where we are. And I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do this again. I feel strange. I feel like something is missing. I feel like we're doing the right things, but also missing things. I don't even know. I can't even find the words. I can't. I think, I don't think I'm having a very good time at the moment. The thing that I'm finding the most draining is the frustration of the lack of help I can give. And part of that is Ollie's doing so much and I don't know why he won't pass things to me. I don't know if it's because he knows how stressed I am with work. I don't know if it's because he doesn't therefore trust me to be able to do the things well. Or whether he really does believe that it's more time efficient for him to keep hold of everything. And so from being so involved in so many aspects of the last project, suddenly having to sort of really sit back and not be able to do anything, I feel powerless and incredibly frustrated. Nothing about this was good right now, and I think it's starting to show. Why are we offering the audience this experience? We've created something that's fun and cool to take part in as an audience member, but still doesn't pose any interesting questions to them either about their collective behaviour or their private conscience or whatever. And I don't know how comfortable I am with that because I think we're entering the realm of creating work for the sake of the work rather than creating work with a meaning or a purpose that we want to interrogate or explore. Um, I do think this the last minute rush before, it's just so stressful. You know, what I, what I should say is, at the moment, I feel like most of that stress 
actually isn't falling on me. I don't want to make it sound like I'm not doing anything, but I feel a, a little bit at this point in time that my skills at this stage are not as helpful. At this point, when it's just getting down to the nitty gritty, I'm feeling a bit spare. For Ollie particularly, he's having to finish things that he started, but now at this stage, he's just kind of, you know, for him, it's easier for him just to complete that now rather than hand that over. And I think my mind is already starting to skip to the, um, it's done stage, but it's not done. And I need to just bear that in mind. So there's been a flurry of activity this week and um, we've basically just been constantly zipping and zapping each other on social media. And I've been really impressed with how communicative we've all been and how good we've managed to kind of work together and slog it. <laughs> we just spend so much time like trying to sort out other things like logistics and just things, you know, just all the stuff that goes into making a show. I often spend a lot of my time with Blockstop feeling like sort of up and down where I'm kind of like, oh, I'm so fucking useless. I don't know what I'm doing here. I have nothing to give. I have zero skills, zero talent. Why am I here? Why am I holding these people back? Um, and then I kind of come up again and I'm like, oh, oh, I can do this. Hmm. I have this thing that I can do. I found that the closer we get to actual production time and um, show time, the much more I feel confident in my abilities to deliver. I also want to get Ollie back a present because that boy, I want to get loads of people presents. I want to get Dan Thompson a present. I want to get Melanie Grossenbacher a present. I want to get everyone presents and I want to tell them how amazing they are because they fucking are and they've done an amazing job. I am... Um actually pretty excited today we had a trial and they loved it and actually we had fun i had fun today doing the trial and i'm starting to feel like we actually know the show which about a month ago felt like a crazy concept it just it's the same really it's the same as how we were with dead weight um, when we started we learned a lot about how to create that single player experience um, and so I feel like now, this is that, you know, we're just expanding, we're working on our format, making it um, broader, more accessible, have a, a larger reach. Um, and, you know, in that, we're learning things. I just got back from what is our last rehearsal. I've been really heartened by today's process because we had a trialist who played the game last time when we did Deadweight and he said some things that basically indicated that we'd really stepped up a gear. If we come away from the run with the feedback from people basically saying this is a cool show and it has loads of potential, then I will be happy. So we've just done our technical rehearsal at uh, Southwark Playhouse Address Run and it went pretty badly tech-wise. It went terribly tech-wise. All of the important bits didn't work very well at all. Not feeling good right now. It's um, Okay, so we are trying to think of the good things that happened from this uh, dress rehearsal. One is that it was. I'm sure good practice for Ollie, bring it all together. He's got so much to be juggling at his end. Mm -hmm. um, all practice is good practice. Yes. He learnt that if things are going badly tech-wise, we should hang up the call, wait a moment, call back. Don't try and plough on. Yeah, ploughing on is not useful when tech is as bad as it was. In the, uh, the ward, which is the when final come showdown in. happens, yeah, they can't hear because it's really echoey. Because at the moment, from what Mel's been saying, they just don't understand anything that goes on in that scene. I think it's a problem when the internet quality is low. Mm. Also, the microphone wasn't working properly. There was a lot of sound issues, so maybe it was also partly to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
I kind of, I'm literally, I think I'm just reaching <laughs> the point now. <laughs> oh, where I'm kind of realizing the ridiculousness of the situation that we're in. Uh, okay, so I've just got to uh, Waterloo. It's the um, 3rd of November, opening night. Um, we've had, after the technical issues that we had yesterday, uh, I've just found out that we've changed the uh, way that we're live streaming from being um, glasses on webcam or glasses to iPhone on helmet. Uh, we haven't tried it before. I'm very nervous. Um, the, open, the show starts in two hours and I've just got to Waterloo. So about to head down into the tunnels, find out what's what and oh my god, if I was nervous before, I am incredibly nervous now. About two hours before the show opened, we completely changed all of the tech, which was incredibly risky totally paid off so Tuesday was basically spent um, in a flurry of activity where um, we went out and we bought um, a whole like a bunch of different webcams and started testing them and then kind of almost on a whim I guess um, we were like oh let's let's just see how Elida's um, iPhone 6 works and it was just far and above, like just beyond better than the others. We had a very kind of hurried look through the budget to see if we could actually afford it. Um, we realised that we probably could, so we kind of went and bought the iPhone 6. Um, so yeah, we went and did it and we sort of fashioned it all together. Mel arrived and we were like, put this on your head. And um, she was very nervous, but it worked. Tonight was really interesting. So this show's was basically mostly laughter and we kind of through discussion realized that we were kind of okay with it because that's the nature of our work where we make stuff that that will change dramatically based on who is playing and tonight I think it really hit home how much that is the case if it is looking like a funny and silly game that's okay but how to make it so that it's not just sort of that one level that just doesn't go anywhere we still have that drive and that focus to really kind of keep questioning is this what we originally wanted and if not is it okay i feel proud of us for being able to achieve that so the show's done we did it i feel kind of deflated i feel like i haven't really been involved in it and i can't quite place my finger on why i guess mostly because i wasn't really interacting with anyone audience wise um and so it just never really clicked that we were doing it for real <laughs> actually i haven't seen my friends or family for the last three months actually i haven't had that great a time <laughs> the payoff didn't feel as good this time I guess something needs to change everyone seems really proud of what we did and i am too i really am i think that we pulled off something amazing and it was as much a learning process as it was a product that we were putting out for people to come and enjoy. I feel like I'm being really critical and really negative of what we've created, and I don't mean to be. I just feel that for all of the strength that the piece had, there were also real weaknesses that we kind of brushed under the carpet because of lack of time or resources or whatever. And I don't know if they remember that. And I think that's kind of making me feel uneasy. I think they trust my opinion enough and my judgment enough rather to know that I'm not just saying these things and pulling stuff apart because I'm being negative. I think sometimes in collaborative groups it can feel like you're talking into a vacuum and that your concerns or your fears are being listened to but not heard. <laughs> I've decided that I am going to also pursue acting alongside Rockstock. I think it's actually the only thing that really makes me happy. The, the less I do it, the more difficult I become. This is hard. It feels strange. I felt like quite empty and sort of like, oh, you know, you worked really hard for a very long time for this project and it's done. Yeah, and it was nice to have some time off. Weird. Um, I think I am ready to go again much quicker than I imagined. What's the next step? What's the next level? Um, is what I'm feeling a lot at the moment. Um, there's a lot to be dealing with. Basically, the crux of the issue is, is how are the four of us going to work together in the most effective way to bring in enough work and income 
to sustain the four of us. I think good things are going to happen, so that's by the end of us. I'm in a much better place than I was this time at the end of the last project. It went pretty well. I think overall we were very pleased and we've done a lot of, sort of celebrating. We're talking about drawing it, which I think is a really great idea. It worked for what we needed it to do this time, but I think if you want to do it again, there's an awful lot we need to work on. I don't want to sort of get swept up in uh, the success of it and forget that actually there was quite a lot of flaws with, with the show that we made, so we need to really get back into the house and work on that. I think we should be really pleased with what we did, and I'm very much looking forward to working out how we continue to work together as a company. Uh, there's so much more that we can do that I'm really excited for. What I really want to say is thank you to the team who've been, as ever, really amazing to work with. Uh, thanks to everyone who helped us make it happen. By the end of us, over and out. So, we, by the end of this, is done now. This is exciting. Um, <laughs> so it's a pity, we did it, we finished. Um, we had a bit of a break, uh, and now we are back. Uh, we are meeting uh, once or twice a week again. Um, and we are now planning a tour. Sure. Uh, we've learned a lot. Uh, one of our first meetings was to <laughs> There's people going past. Um, one of our first meetings. Yay! So yeah, one of our first meetings was to um, figure out where we stand in terms of roles and how we can better delegate our workloads to one another and just split stuff up among the company. Which is, I think, a very useful conversation that we had. Uh, yeah. How are we feeling? I would say we are feeling refreshed, we are feeling excited, and we're feeling ready for the next step. Yeah, I think our ambition is back again. Yeah. Yeah, we have the drive again. Yeah. Thank God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else? Um, we had a proper love in on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. We're feeling very loved up. Yeah, yeah we, get, we have quite an um, uh, open and honest. Uh, feedback session where we were quite personal and quite specific um, about how we perform us successfully um, for us as individuals and as a collective. Um, so we sort of talked about our individual strengths and weaknesses, what we bring to the team, what we're best suited for the company. And that was, I think, really helpful for us all. Um, so yeah, now we're ready to embrace the next adventure. Uh, and get cracking. 2016, the year of Luxor. Also, my head is very shiny. <laughs>